This castle is hiding all sorts of secrets. on Ranrock's hands. Rebellion. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free.
Rebellion. 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 You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizardkind. Sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Huh. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madam. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madam Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Rebellion. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Good for you. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon.
Revelio. Revelio. Lionel's not half as tough as it sounds. Haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast flesh. The rest of them Expelliarmus nonsense on me. You may want to. Protego! Have to do the trick! Expelliarmus! Descender! You're poaching Revelio! been quite stately in its time. Rebellion. Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Off on another adventure, are we? Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the travelling vendors and would love to get the more Wiganweld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. 
Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Rebellion. Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. These rocks have seen better days. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. Uh. Revelio. Someone's going to regret it. Right up, <laughs> Let's have a look around. See if I can find that box of letters. Confrey! Revelio. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Rebellion. Hmm. 
either I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or we'll do this together. A 
Arrest the momentum. That's all the hall comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Hmm. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or I can avoid it altogether.
arrest those momentum. Rebellion. This must be Serona's box of letters. Revelio. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. Rebellion. 
Rebellion. I should find Mrs. Brottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk lumps. Who lived here, I wonder? Revelio. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. 
I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you, and I found Sorona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Sorona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. Rebellion. I should investigate. Rebellion. 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 Alohomora. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. <gasps> Upper 
Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ran Rock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ran Rock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ran Rock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Revelio. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Still talk about you taking down. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. 
we believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabelle, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.
How nice of you to stop by. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Wait a moment. Expelliarmus! Protego! 
One less follower, Ranrock. One camp down, one more to go. Rebellion. How nice of you to stop by. How long for a bacon and mushroom stew? Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Rebellion. Oh. 
Revelio. Descender. Levioso. Revelio. I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for? Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for passing through. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Levioso! Merlin trial when I see one.
Let me also. Akio. Rebellion. Descender. Confringo. 